In this particular problem, a small business buys a computer for $3,200. So, you go to Best Buy, computer is $3,200. So, four years later, the value is expected to be $200. So, that means it started off being worth $3,200. After four years, it's only worth $200. So, what we're using in this problem is linear depreciation, meaning that the value of the computer goes down the same amount every single year. So we can interpret this a couple of different ways. One way is we can do order pairs. In the problem they told us V is the value of the computer at time T. So this is the same as like our X and our Y. So when you start out your computer is worth $3,200. After four years your computer is only worth $200. So, with these ordered pairs, what you can do is you can find what's the slope of that line. And we already know our y-intercept. Our y-intercept is where we start. So, our y-intercept is $3,200. So, to find our slope, we have y sub 2 minus y sub 1 divided by x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, here's x1 because that's your first x-coordinate. At the very beginning, your computer is worth $3,200. There's your Y1. Here's X sub 2. Four years later, there's your Y sub 2. Your computer is only worth $200. So we have 200 minus 3,200 divided by 4 minus 0. So in our numerator, we have a negative 3,000. In our denominator, we have 4. So our slope is negative... 750. So our equation, you have to relate V, the value of computer at a time, T. So our value is equal to $3,200. That's our y-intercept. That's how much our computer started at the very beginning. That's where our graph is going to cross the y-axis. Minus $750 for every year. Linear, we have a line. Depreciation decreasing. So for every year the value of our computer decreases by 750. That is what our slope represents. Every single year the value of our computer decreases by $750. Our y-intercept is what the original cost was. At the very beginning how much did our computer cost? How much was it worth? So Part D says after three years, how much is our computer worth? So we use our formula, and our time is now three years. So you have 3,200 minus 750 times three. So after three years, our computer is worth nine hundred and fifty dollars makes sense because the next year is going to decrease by seven hundred and fifty dollars and that's why four years later is worth two hundred dollars so to come up with our graph for we have our two points at the very beginning the computer is worth thirty two hundred dollars so we plot that point Then, four years later, our computer is worth $200. So there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. Four years later, is worth $200. So we plot that point, and then we connect those two points with our line. That represents our amount of linear depreciation. Made with DoodleCast Pro.